Moments of almost unbearable tension as though Centuria Square waited to hear the result. Dr. Mohammed Mohammed Morsi, 13,230,131. That's 51% of the vote. Then there was jubilation as hundreds of thousands realized their candidate had become Egypt's first democratically elected president. Away from the square, though, there were also millions of voters disappointed. Followers of Ahmed Shafiq deeply saddened. The slim margin of Morsi's victory making defeat all the more bitter. The results are null and void. The judges were under pressure. The Brotherhood said they'll burn the country and do this and do that. So Marshal Tantawi, who really takes care of this country, should have prevented the announcement of these results. Where is the Egyptian army? The army has to rescue Egypt. The result means devastation and destruction. The Brotherhood cannot rule this country. The only solution now is for the Egyptian army to control and govern Egypt. During the celebration by Morsi's supporters, one of the first formal messages of congratulation came from the Supreme Council of Armed Forces, which is due to hand over executive authority to the president in six days. There remain disturbing questions, though, as to the extent of power the military council is prepared to give up. But in his first speech to the nation, Mohammed Morsi made no reference to differences with the ruling military, calling for divisions to be put aside in a plea for national unity. We are all Egyptians, both Muslims and Christians, with great civilizations, and that is how we will remain. We will fight all those who will try to interfere with our unity. We will have to show the world we will have a revolution of development with peace and dignity for all Egyptians. I am willing and determined to bring the new Egypt and build the new democracy and I will engage and use all my efforts to achieve that. I will work hard to safeguard the security of Egypt with its roots in the Arab world and Africa. As the celebrations continued into the night, a clear point of confrontation has already emerged. The new president says he will not take his oath in front of the Constitutional Court as the military councillor said he must. He insists that he will do it before an elected parliament that the military council has dissolved. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Cairo.